Hi there, and today I'm modifying the new express passenger train. Now I love Lego trains. I have all the Lego City train sets since 2006 when we got 7897 and 7898, the passenger and cargo trains from that year, and then all the City train sets up to the present day. I also build my own train mocks in Lego City scale. For example, this is my Wessex Electric uh, Class 442 in Network South East livery. And I also did a whole series on my London Underground train and station. However, when I saw this year's passenger train, I didn't immediately like it. It's got lots of nice features. For example, it's the first time we've got uh, built-in lights, um, which come with the set. You don't have to fit them afterwards and buy your own lights. It's got a nice brick-built nose, as opposed to all the previous uh, passenger trains having a one-piece moulded nose. I also like that for the first time in years, we have actual opening doors on a Lego train. We haven't seen those um, since the uh, nine volt era. I also like the way they have chamfered off the corners of this train, which means when the two coaches couple together, they are a lot closer fitting than uh, previous city trains, and that little chamfer means they don't collide as they go round uh, the corners of the tight LEGO City curves. So the set has grown on me. You get the engine at the front, and you get two passenger cars, and as more people buy them and the items become available on the secondary market, I'm sure people will be selling off cars and the engine individually. What I plan to do is buy another unmotorised engine for the other end of the train just to complete it, like I did with the previous blue and yellow passenger train. But despite all its good features, I still wasn't keen on this train, and I realised it's nothing to do with the model itself, it's the colour. I don't like green. So what I'm planning to do today is recolour this model, get rid of the nasty green and change it for a much nicer colour. Now the colour choice for the modification is based entirely around this slope here. This green slope is only the third colour that it's ever appeared in. Previously it's only come in white, that's not a very appropriate as we've already got this white line running along the train, so an entirely white train would look very similar to the two previous white passenger trains. The only other colour it comes in is red, so that's the colour we've got to go for. Now starting with one of the coaches, we don't need that many pieces because there's not that much green on it. Basically it's this long green line at the top and the bottom, the door handles, and that's about it. So we've got lots of plates uh, to replace these lines with. There's some two by four tiles which go at the top at the ends here. Obviously some round by one by ones for the door handles, and then lots of these wedge plates um, where we get these uh, sort of chamfered off corners at the end. So that's what we're gonna do now. So that's all the green parts swapped out of the two coaches. The only issue is these lovely stickers on the side of the windows. So this one has a bicycle and a chair, obviously for bicycle storage and seating. The other one has a coffee cup and a wheelchair for wheelchair access and the buffet car. I obviously can't create these in red, so the best thing to do I think is just swap them out for plain windows. So green stickered windows all swapped out and I think they look much smarter this way. Now it's on to the slightly more complicated engine. So here's that large troublesome slope which decided what colour the train should be. And it's one of just 40 pieces needed to change the colour from green to red. And if you don't want to watch the time lapse build, skip on one minute and you can see the finished article.
I am really pleased with how this has come out. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to look, but I absolutely love it. It's um, I much prefer it to the lime green colour, and it's actually quite reminiscent of uh, set 7743 from 1985, which was also an express passenger train. That was called High Speed City Express Passenger Train Set. Um, I'm loving this red version. I don't think I'll ever turn it back to the green. Definitely also going to buy another uh, engine to go on the other end of the train and also when I do that I've bought enough pieces in these Bricklink orders to recolour that one to red as well. I do like this sideways facing panel with the studs nod on top. Um, when I was ordering the pieces before I actually got the set I presume these were just tiles but um, they're actually panel pieces to stop that uh, plate sort of being pushed in on the side so that's a nice little build there. So I think the only thing left to do is put it on some track and see it running round. Let me know what you think of the recolor in the comments below. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more LEGO videos.